hello everyone uh, so today in this video we are going to create one login page and register page using php and bootstrap 5 right so i hope all of you all aware of the bootstrap right so we know that bootstrap is going to use to create a good looking websites very quickly right so if you want to learn more about the bootstrap then you can just go into the bootstrap file which is the latest version right so get bootstrap.com okay and here you can see you can browse through the versions right so here you can see uh, 1.5.0 uh, x 5.1 x and all that stuff right latest is the 5.2 x right so whenever the new functionalities are added then the versionings are going to release okay okay now uh, here is the introduction of the bootstrap that get started with the bootstrap the world's most popular framework for building responsive yes this is the main important thing right you can create a responsive and mobile first sites right so here you can see that uh, there are lots of documentations available over here according to your requirement you can pick any of these right so you can see that it works on the basis of grids and columns right it also have the containers breakpoints right so here you can see whether you are working with the small screen medium screen large screen extra large screen and extra extra large screen right so here the particular dimensions are there so these are the breakpoints for the responsiveness we are not going to uh, discuss about this right I'm just going to uh, tell you that how you can use the bootstrap into your project, right? So here you can see that there are one uh, CSS file and one JS files are there. Uh, you just need to copy and paste these particular links into your project, right? Another way is you can just uh, download this particular package, right? From this particular here and you can also keep it as a offline right but i'm just going to use this online for the demonstration purpose in later videos we will use the offline mode right so this is about the bootstrap now as we know that php is a server side scripting language right so we need to have one server to execute our project right so as i'm using a mac so for the mac we are having a map right so in Linux or Windows view also have the XAMPP and WAMP, right? So WAMP for Windows, XAMPP can work on all three platforms, right? So I'm just using the MAMP. So once you install the MAMP, you will see that it is uh, over here. In your Windows case, it is probably within a C program files, you will just find it. In that one htdocs folder is there so you can see I have created uh, three four folders over here okay so you just need to create one folder over here like I am just going to create one login folder right so to execute this from the server this is the requirement right so here I have created one login folder okay so later on I am just going to create this uh, project right and I'm going to use this folder. Okay. Now uh, to start the MAMP, uh, you will have MAMP, right? So here you can see this is a very simple panel. Uh, when I click on the start servers, it is going to start with the Apache and MySQL server, right? So this is the free version, right? So you can use for your demonstration purpose. Here you can see this is the index page which is already over here right so this index page is going to be executed right but as i am going to create my project within a login then i just need to use the login folder right so now let's just uh, start creating our project so i just simply drag and drop this into the visual studio code so i'm going to use the visual studio code guys right so this is a wonderful id to text editor to write the course right so now let's uh, just start the creating project okay so the first page i'm just going to create is index.php right so this is my index.php okay 
so into that I am just going to create HTML file okay okay guys uh, so here once you click on the HTML file right then the template is going to be created for us so here you can see that uh, login page I'm just going to give the title for this right so uh, now just uh, for the demonstration let's see our index page is working properly or not okay so we just go to the browser and here as this is in a, a login page right I just click and you can see index.php is going to be executed right so we don't require this so I'm just going to remove this now let's just add the bootstrap over here right so how we can add the bootstrap so I just told you that you just need to copy and paste these links over here right this is the bundle JS bundle that you require if you want right so now the bootstrap is added over here okay now you can see that uh, right now there is no much difference we will have right so let's just start creating our project so you will get the idea how it is working so first of all uh, we are just going to create one container class right within the container class I'm just going to create one row and within a row I'm just going to create one column right so as you know that the bootstrap is working with the container row and columns right so it's a default 12 rows are there right so here MD means the median uh, medium screens right so that laptop and desktops we are talking about okay so let's just uh, see how it is looking so welcome to php right so we are just right now checking our output it is working properly or not yes right so here you can see that it is starting from here so we have two classes one is container and the container fluid so if you see that when you put a container fluid then it takes whole width of your desktop right but right now let's just uh, stick with the container right you can read more about this into your uh, bootstrap documents right I just want it little bit uh, below then you can just use this class right so it gives the uh, padding right so now you can see okay that looks fine okay now uh, we don't require this over here you can see that so this is our index.php file guys right now uh, we are just going to create a navigation bar right but before going to create a navigation bar uh, let me create the separate header and footer files right so for that I'm just going to create one includes folder right into includes folder I'm just going to create header.php okay uh, one another file I'm going to create footer.php and one another file I'm going to create navbar.php okay so uh, I'm just giving you why I am doing this so some of the headers and footers are common sometimes and the navigation bars are common across the pages right so you don't need to touch this particular file again and again you just need to just copy and paste it these particular things from here this is our header you can see that and I'm just going to click this and put it into the footer right so this is my header and uh, this is my footer part right so in navigation bar we will be requiring the navigation bars right so again I'm just going into the bootstrap here I'm just uh, going to click for the nav bars so you can see I don't need to write any single line right 
so here the supported navigation bars are here like this is the styles and here is the code this is another style and the code this is another style and the code right you can see guys there are lots of designs available already right so i'm just going to take this first okay so i'm just copying this and uh, putting into the navigation bar right okay right so now we have created three separate files right headers and footers so header contains the header and navigation bar so i need to include that files in my index.php so here i am just uh, going to write php right and just close it so this is the syntax for putting the php files right now i am using include function right and i am just going to include the headers right and i am just going to include includes navigation bar so this is my header portion so before this i want this to right and at the last i want the footer so i just need to include my footer file so i just going to write include slash footer dot php okay so now let's uh, just execute our code and see it is applicable to or not yes it is very much applicable over here so uh, you can see that this is particular navigation bar right and uh, this particular navigation bar is applied over here okay so uh, this way you can just include these things in this so here i right now it is like this so i just need to put it in a container so in a nav bar it is using this is fluid so instead of that i just need to put the uh, container now it looks perfect i don't require these additional things right so i just going to remove that okay uh, first of all i am just removing the search okay uh, I don't require this drop down also. So whatever uh, required things are there, you just take it, right? Other things you can just remove it, right? So let me see what are the things remaining. Okay, nav bar, home and link. So again, I'm just going to delete this and I'm just putting copy and paste it over here. Okay, so one I'm going to create for login, another I'm going to create for register, right? And here login.php and here register.php because when i click on this i just need to uh, navigate to this particular files okay right uh okay let's just see the output what happens over here okay home login and register we have okay now i want all these particular things at the uh, right hand side okay so what things i need to change over here right so you can just see that uh, we are using auto mb2 lg2 okay right so now uh in this right so here to take it right we are just putting ms auto then uh, this particular 
thing is over here right so uh, this is our design so our design is uh, almost ready guys right with this particular navbar home login and that so in the home i'm just going to put the index.php or you just keep it as a has right okay so according to your requirement you can just put the things over here so this is our navigation bar and you can see our navigation bar is ready okay now uh, let's just create the login page right so here outside we are just going to create one login page right so again to create a login page we will be requiring some headers and footers so i am just uh, copy pasting this particular files into my login php page and for the footers into my login php page right okay that's it this is headers and footers are added with the navigation bar now let's uh, just start our designing right so the first of all we are just going to have some padding then dot container class we will be having dot row class we will be having dot column we will be having right okay so here in this columns we are just going to create one card so again the card is again very important thing right so card contains the card header sorry i just need to put the dot so it will create the dot card header right so it contains the header uh, we are just going to put the header like login right so login over here so it contains the header uh, now let's just create the card body okay so now within a card body we are just going to create one login page but before that let's just see our output is there or not so here uh, you just need to click on a login and it is like this okay right now let's just start creating the body portion so within a body portion you can see we will have some username and password things right so first of all i'm just uh, going to create the particular forms right so i'm just going to create the form group class with margin bottom 3 Okay. Okay. Margin bottom three. I'm just going to add, right? And into that, I'm just going to create one label that is uh, email ID. right and just putting the input type is equals to text right input type is equals to text and just putting the placeholder for that enter the email id okay uh this is and i'm just going to add this into the class form control right so you just need to uh, see that particular what is the meaning of form control what is the meaning of form group 
you just need to learn that right so that all the documentation will be over there so you can see here we have email id and enter the email so again uh, i'm just going to copy and paste these things over here so instead of email id i'm just asking for the password right you can put password field over here right and enter the password right so let me check yes perfect right so this looks fine now we will be requiring one button so here again i'm just going to create the particular division right and into that i'm just going to create the button type is equals to submit right and i'm just going to provide the classes for the uh, button btn primary so you will just find this on the particular documentation of bootstrap so here again i'm just putting it into the form control right and i'm just going to log in here right so now let's just execute and see yes so the button is created now i want the margin bottom over here right so again for that i just need to use this over here and after that i just need to put division over here okay now i think it looks fine yes that's fine okay now uh, over here suppose i just need to add the things yes now it looks fine okay so our design is ready guys right uh, now over here uh, this is very big uh, block card over here right so i just need to make it little bit cleaner so i'm just using justify content and center right so and i'm just uh, going to put the particular right okay so i'm just going to put the columns it is you see by default it is 12 right but i just want to make it 5 okay so now it works fine so it looks very pretty simple and very professional right so <clears throat> you can see guys here our login page is ready right so similarly for this registration page so when i click on login similarly where i click on register so there is no uh, particular file is there right so now uh, i'm just going to copy and paste this particular file and i'm just putting it into the register.php okay the same thing i want over here guys right so i will be requiring first i need to change the register then i'm just going to put the okay i will be requiring the email id so i'm just copy and pasting these things two times right so the first is uh, first name right text enter your name
enter your first name right here I'm just going to put last name right enter last name enter your email id enter your password right and here instead of login register register here right so this is again very much simple right and just checking it now looks very perfect fine right so you can see over here guys right let me change the navigation bar heading so you can see that locking pan page so here it is login page right so now when i click on login here right and uh, when i click on this so i just need to go into the index.php okay right so here on index.php let's put something right which one welcome to my login page right guys so you will see welcome to my login page over here right so that's it guys uh, this is the combination of bootstrap and php and you can see how easily you can create these kind of applications right that's it guys thanks for watching